I'm getting Ashley Park has a new rival. Ashanti? This powerful young leopard has begun the treacherous task of taking over our territory. Sent marking and broadcasting, she has made her presence known to the reigning queen of this land, Zora. Challenges lurk everywhere. She must work to push Zora up while avoiding larger and more dangerous threats within her borders. Shanta must carve out a space of her own to secure her future in these African badlands. And she must do this all on her own. This is Enchantis Chan. Hidden in these bus grasslands lays a tired young leopard named Ashanti. Since leaving her mother's side a year ago, she's traveled as a nomad, searching the Serengeti National Park's grasslands for a territory to claim as her own. The lands Ashanti has been scouting are a leopard's dream. The ground is bountiful. Luscious grass and vegetation covering the area with many trees dotting its expanse. The Mara River cuts along the territory, creating steep banks, which are valuable in ambushing unsuspecting prey. Herbivores migrate through the area frequently, including Ashanti's favorite food, antelope. Although an empire is nearly Ashanti's size, their powerful hopes are dangerous and can badly wound her.
for one may not kill her. If it impedes her ability to hunt or run, she may lay to starve. The immature and hungry Ashanti accepts this risk, slinking through the grasses almost silently. A male employer catches her scent, raising his hand and calling out to alert the others. For Ashanti, it is now or never. Ashanti's skills as the hunters are increasing more and more with each hunt. Her success will be crucial in keeping herself fit and healthy in her journeys and for any threats she may face. However, the scent of fresh blood seems to have drawn unwanted attention. It is a female leopard who is none other than Queen Zora herself, and she is announcing a direct challenge to Ashanti and her kill. Ashanti must make her decision quickly to flee and search for her worst territory or to fight and claim this land as her own. Ashanti has proved herself by fighting off Thora. This victory will not be forgotten as this territory is now free to be claimed by her. The highlands now belong to her.
Shonky explores her newly claimed territory, settling down at a pond to drink and rest. However, danger lurks deep within her bodies. Even one hyena can crush leopard's bone, having respond despite the force of any land animal ever on. 1,100 pounds, stronger than their own competitors. Ashanti having to be quick delays the pack with fearsome swipes, only trying to buy little time for an escape, for which she is surrounded by water and then near in death her legacy. Even if she does escape, she has little chance to outrun this stamina. Shanti is quickly learning where she stands in the African food chain. This incident will cost her most of her day, as the hyenas will attempt to wait her.
the shrunken pay its no attention to the herd of wild abyssal zebra. The animal's large size and threatening horns and holds a far too dangerous a prey atom. Yet another competitor takes notice of the herd. Vines. Shonky has no choice to climb a nearby rock as the stampede races towards her. The lionesses have failed their hunt, only to find a shanty trap within their reach. The lioness barely misses Ashanti's pelt, a leaping out of reach. They circle the triangle, attempting to wait out. Ashanti's quick thinking and courageousness has saved her yet again. Ashanti has beaten the odds of survival, gaining a territory at such a young age. Despite four of the challenges and battles, she has not only survived, but fired. Her reign over this territory will continue for many years to come as Ashanti continues to embark on the journey of life.